Continuing our team coverage tonight on the smoke carrying over from Canadian wildfires. The Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Center says there are more than 400 wildfires burning across Canada and parts of the northern U.S. 238 of them are reported to be out of control. So we send it now over to Merritt Morgan, who spoke to a North Carolina state climatologist about the wildfires we're seeing and how climate change could be playing a role. She joins us live in Craven County with more details. Merritt. Courtney, you've got that right. You can still see the smoke here in New Bern, even from the Croatan National Forest Fire. Now with these conditions coming from that Canada fire, one climatologist I spoke to says these conditions are here to stay at least through the end of the week. He even describes the smoke as putting a lid on top of a pot of boiling water. Smoky conditions and poor air quality. I didn't really notice it until this morning. We had two planes fly over fly, uh, jets, fighter jets. We lived maybe five miles from Cherry Point, and it was so hazy. They weren't that high up, and you could barely see them. Wildfires across Canada and northern United States are impacting those even here in the east, like the Croatan National Forest Fire. It was right here in the backyard, so we were seeing the clouds of smoke, and it got pretty smoky here for, I'd say, three to four days. Absolutely. And then it finally cleared up, but it did take weeks. North Carolina experts say it's the small particles in the smoke causing concern. We're seeing that smoke impact right here at home. Uh, smoke is associated with these really small particles, this fine particulate matter. They're smaller than the width of a human hair, just to uh, paint a picture for it. And as you breathe that in, they can penetrate really deep into the lungs. Um, they can even get into your bloodstream and just irritate uh, a bunch of things in your body. Thus causing a code red in some parts of North Carolina and others a code orange. Colors you use to dictate how severe the air quality is, with red being the most extreme. Assistant State Climatologist Corey Davis says climate change is playing a significant role in the conditions seen. It's often just a few hot, dry, windy days back to back, and that's basically what we've seen up over Canada just in the last week. Uh, they've had high temperatures that have been in the 90s. That's more than 20 degrees above normal for them uh, at that time of the year, uh, and that's helped fuel these hundreds of large fires. Taylor also says it's extremely important for people to be aware of their air quality in their county. He says they can do so by visiting their website at ncair.org or you can even download the EPA's app that's called Air Now. Along with those resources, some counties even have their levels posted just like the sign in Craven County behind me. But for now, live in Craven County, Merritt Morgan, WITN News. All right, thank you, Merritt. And experts also say the current air quality is expected to last through at least Friday, but a cold front could help with conditions starting next week.